Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Um, well, I'm back in town from my work trip, and um, I just wanted to do a real quick video and show you what I took on my work trip. It was very tricky to decide what I was going to take. You know, I knew I was going to be busy and wouldn't have time for any videos. I was lucky to get maybe one or two shorts in. Um, so let's take a look at them. Um, I knocked out 19 apartment buildings and I knew I'd be working tough. So I, I wanted to grab uh, a lot of synthetics. I, you can see here, I only grabbed one bone handle knife and this is my Rough Rider Outdoorsman series. This is the kind of a medium size locking trapper. You got the mid lock there for the clip point blade and you got a spay blade. I'm going to feature this in a video of all my Outdoorsman series coming up. So didn't get a chance to make a video of that on the trip. Um, of course, I so I went with synthetic. I didn't grab my carbon amber bone. I went with my natural micarta stainless steel 75. Absolutely love this knife. I carried this in a sheath. Of course, I was in farm country. It was a college town. Nobody says a word, you know. Half the kids there are raised by farmers, I'm sure. Pullman, the Cougars. If you know football, college football, the Cougars. And my buddies were joking, are you going to wear your Huskies gear there? I said, no way. And, and I know Huskies are local to me. Washington State University, you dub. But I really don't like purple, so I have no Huskies gear. <laughs> uh, so yeah, absolutely fantastic 75 Stockman. I like it so much. This is my second one. Um, I ordered a third. You'll have to see it when it gets here. But yeah, I got back from my trip. And, and of course I have packages and I, and I could have did unboxings, but I needed to check out these knives before I did it. And I have a huge list of videos I need to do a lot. And this is one of them. So, uh, I, I haven't carried this in a long time. This is just my yellow Delrim case, carbon steel. I got this last summer. Great fit and finish on it. Carbon steel. It's got a, a mirror polish there. You know, I just ha I don't carry it that much, but it's a fantastic knife. Can't beat case carbon steel. Again, it's synthetic. Uh, so I had this at my friends and we had steak dinner last night. So I had to put some teeners on the blade. Cut great. And yes, steak is a great way to get teeners on your blade. And I noticed it cut the steak great, but I noticed, you know, it's a little, it's, not as sharp as it could be. I ran it over my friend's diamond sharpener, and it is razor sharp. Cool trapper. Good working knife. I already showed you the one bone that I took. I took the Savage Creek by Rosecraft. Also a synthetic micarta, you know, man-made materials. A uh, good, durable knife. D2 steel. Wanted to bring that. Um, I brought a modern. I brought my Kaiser Bugai. I really like this one. Um, you know, pocket clip. Lightweight. Good grip in case of rain. Look at the tip on this. I've done a review of this. Didn't get much views. Nobody watches modern videos from traditional knife channels, apparently. I mean, they do, but every modern video I do, nobody really watches. You get 80 views on a video, and my other videos get like four or 500 in a day. Sometimes. Beautiful micarta on this. I like that it doesn't have a top flipper, it doesn't have a back flipper. It's just the button, so you can thumb flip it, middle finger flip it, which is my favorite method. Um, I just had to bring one modern, and uh, it's a good working, cutting heavy duty knife. And then of course, my Rough Rider Moose. 
and brown micarta. The tater skin. Uh, cool, I had to bring this. This is a chunk. I knew this would be a good hard worker in case I needed it. I could throw it at somebody, knock them out unconscious. <laughs> Just look at the back springs on it. Big, heavy tater. I almost call it the turd. Great snap on it. Um, I'm not a big fan of mooses with the spay blade, but this is kind of a unique spay blade with some good belly to it. And nice wedging. Yes, and so uh, I'll cover in, in another video, but um, I was able to stop at the Buck Factory and pick up a new 110. Honduras Ebony. Um, it's a long story. I'll tell you the story when I do the video of this knife. But look at that striping. It's like the old 80s. And it was an amazing deal. So this was my carry uh, when I was at my buddies in Idaho. I carried these two. So that's it. Just a quick video. Wanted to show you what I took out of town with me. It's tough when you have so many knives. Like, could be anything. But as you can see, I went with mostly durable synthetics, micarta, Delrin, and micarta. And I, you know, this was 12 bucks. So I figured, oh, I'll bring a bone one. And I think I brought this one just because it was a kind of a medium size locking trapper. So yeah, I wanted to show this video just because I didn't have a chance to do any videos when I was over there. Maybe one or two shorts. Thank you for joining me. Have a fantastic day. More to come. Stay sharp, be kind, and take chances.